One of the parts that we are working on is the issue of sector monitoring from a service perspective. In that regard, we have worked with the sector, taking the policy, operational documents, and guidelines, and looking at indicators and benchmarks for monitoring water service. So we have that indicator now developed. We moved further to look at how we can use that as an instrument for doing sector service monitoring. That instrument and methodology has been developed. We are working with three districts on a pilot basis to use that to define, indicate, to, to use that to prepare uh, functionality maps for the districts, to use that to also assess baseline information on what is happening, and then also use that to also assess what is working, what is not working, and what can be, can be, can be improved. And we are doing that using the flow technology. Uh, now all the three districts have their baselines defined. Uh, the tool has been tested. There's a lot of interest around the report that we are generating because it provides a clear picture on what is working, what is not working, to inform planning and investment decisions. Because of the interest, now the Community Water and Sanitation Agency, which is the government agency that we work with, is having discussions with the World Bank to support similar exercise in other CCC districts, because the World Bank want to establish baseline data on water uh, levels in the various districts that they are working. So at least now we have a methodology and we have a tool for doing, uh, for, for monitoring water service. We believe that the data can inform how planning is done and where to place the investment. We just finished the report for one of our districts called Akachi District, which is in the Volta region of Ghana. And the report was presented to the sector stakeholders. The interesting thing about the feedback was that they said, yes, we were aware that our systems were not working, but we didn't have a coherent data on the situation. Now, having gone through this exercise, we have the picture of what the situation is with each of the systems and the facilities that we have. At that meeting, they had discussions on the feedback in terms of the issues that came up, issues about the Water and Sanitation Committee's performance, issues about facilities that have been broken down for a long time and haven't been fixed, issues about downtime, and they had discussions around this, and they asked themselves, what are we going to do to solve this problem? But it begins with really preparing your case. At the community level, they need to have a good sense of what the issues are, so that the monies that they collect they can prioritize in terms of what we use the money for. At the district level, they need to have a very good overview. It's when you have a very good overview and able to assess the extent of the problem that you can start budgeting and are allocating resources uh, for that. Hitherto, they didn't have a very good overview. So it was a firefighting situation when it comes then they go and work on it. And so when the district works department had gone to the district assembly that they needed more money to do their work, they hadn't had that money because they couldn't make a good case for that. Now with this result, they will be able to make a good case for that. Most of the things are in maps, on maps. So if they project the maps and the assembly members see all the red dots, that can be enough motivation for them put, to put some resources aside to support that. Hitherto, they didn't have it. The district assembly with that data 
when they meet with the donors that support them, can also make a case. Say, you have been supporting us all these years with new facilities, but we are not making any headway because we take two steps forward and one step back. We have 40% of all our systems not working. And so we can't continue to just do new ones. Can we look at the way you have supported us? Now we have 60% of the facilities to go back to fix. Can we put some resources into that whilst we look at new ones? So at least we have provided them with that evidence to make that case and start making some resources available to support fixing of new systems whilst we look at new ones.